from in Inglewood, California. This is Matt Football. coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Now here comes the Los Angeles offense and the man in charge of it in his second season with the team, 14th overall in what's been an impressive career, Matthew Stafford. A seasoned veteran, we're seeing more chapters being added in Stafford's decorated career, secured a Super Bowl ring, remains a respected leader, and his stats, they're better than ever. Now we just continue to watch him climb the ranks of the NFL's all-time passing leaders. First play from scrimmage, Stafford. That's complete to Robinson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. After four years each in Jacksonville and Chicago, Allen Robinson made a big jump by joining the reigning champs, hoping to shake off career lows from last season and get back to being a catch machine. Here's a catch for him there and a first down pickup. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Stafford. And incomplete on the deep ball. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So now third and ten, they had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Throwing again at Stafford. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. 20! And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. play action now Garoppolo 
And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. He'll look to throw. Open man is Ayu complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 52 yards. And the 49ers are on the board first on the road here in L.A. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Stafford got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. He'll dump this off to Akers. Two yards, good enough for a first. Stafford. Akers back-to-back -back catches. 
And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me I, too. For, for you. I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> And that will be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. recovery Stafford and he'll get this complete to Cooper Cup they'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four and I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this they want him to get the ball and run after the catch good job there though holding him for a short game Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here, third and a yard. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Stafford looking to throw on third and one. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And the Rams are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run here with Henderson. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Thank you. 
So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Ben Skoranek, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And to me, the key to a wide receiver run like that is getting around the first edge guy. It's often like a punt returner. Make that first guy miss, because if you can do that successfully and get upfield, we know good things can happen. He's able to take that one into the end zone. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive span five plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Uh, throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. No oh, bottle, the fumble. It's out, it's loose. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. He'll buy some time right. And this will be caught inside the 10. What a grab. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. That's a big league job there of getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal.
Back to throw. Stafford. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Rams have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. Touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14-7. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On second and nine, Garoppolo completes it to Jennings. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And now we've got a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one, it doesn't connect. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. 
Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Now their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns, it's got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap, allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. A big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On first down, Stafford here. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Stafford now to throw. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First down at Stafford. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. looks to throw again and that is incomplete oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down well the incompletion yes but maybe here not the worst thing in the world no not on first and ten actually gives them a chance to regroup relax just a little bit they huddle up talk it over then they get a chance to continue their drive so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down now Stafford He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. And they are going to have a first down. And they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back. And that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Stafford. His throw caught at about the five. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To the air again, Stafford. The quick slant caught. A driving for the goal line, but he's marked down short. And with no timeouts, no chance to get the field goal unit out there. And frustration going to set in, as that is going to be how this first half will come to a close. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same 
in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They got five through the air last play, now five on the ground, first and ten. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. That escapes the sack. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Trying to get to the outside, this is McCaffrey. And they're gonna get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 
The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Stafford. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Hassan Ridgeway never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Play action, Stafford. Man open is Robinson. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Kyle Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call, so out comes the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After you play. So for Kyle Shanahan, he had it right as the challenge is a good one. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. Here's Stafford. They'll get this one to Cup complete. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and they will take over first and 10. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And this pass caught by Gray. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. McCaffrey on the counter. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, guests start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now is the go time? I think now is the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring him down in the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play, and we just saw an example of it right there. Throwing is Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup, And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup for a Los Angeles first. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. 
Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he's got Rome. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. Touchdown, L.A. Cam Akers with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. But I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Gay is on for the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. Touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Garoppolo and the Niners now. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 51 on the clock. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. First and ten. They'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. There's Garoppolo to throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Here we go, here we go. 
They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. At first glance, I wasn't sure he got it. Then I saw that spot. Definitely a first down. It was, but boy, on the other side, you disputed a little bit, wouldn't you? Okay, if you're playing defense, are you sure he got there? But that's why they tell you all the time, don't just get what you need, get a little bit more and take the decision out of the hands of the officials. Well, there he needed a yard. He got a yard and maybe an inch. Well, this defense has been physical all game long. And it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, we <laughs> could have had our shutout. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it. There he goes, left side. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their end there. As our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.